Well, a major change that could affect sleeping patterns for those who suffer from insomnia. The FDA is ordering lower doses of Ambien and other sleeping pills to prevent reported harmful side effects. Fox News co correspondent Anna Coyman has those details. If you have issues sleeping, a new effort by the Food and Drug Administration could leave you tossing and turning. In an attempt to stem the misuse of prescription sleeping pills, the agency is now ordering drug makers to lower dosages of the drugs. For a lot of patients, it's becoming a little addictive. You know, uh, you know, uh, you know, and they, they they rely on Ambien constantly now to go to sleep. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about 70 million Americans suffer from chronic sleep problems. Last year alone, doctors issued close to 40 million prescriptions for sleep-inducing drugs like Ambien. And while the meds are said to be non-habit-forming, their lingering effects could affect your alertness. We see a lot of people that have gotten themselves in automobile accidents where they are driving, and again, they, they lose that cognitive uh, connection with their driving skills. Research shows morning drowsiness can interfere with driving, increasing the risk of car accidents. The FDA now says a key ingredient in the pills, Zolpidem, stays in women's bodies longer. They're ordering drug makers to cut doses of regular pills in half to five milligrams for women and suggest doctors consider lower dosages for men as well. The FDA has received a number of reports of car accidents connected to Zolpidem over the years, but it's not known how big a role sleeping pills played in the incidents. For now, though, they say patients should continue taking their currently prescribed dose until they can talk to their doctor about the best way to proceed. Meantime, the DEA is now pushing for tighter restrictions on the nation's most widely used drug, the painkiller Vicodin. They're hoping the FDA will put these drugs in a different category, which could make them harder to get and abuse. In New York, Anna Coyman, Fox News.